I was just looking at the... I, frankly, because I didn't know what else to do. Strange theories are affecting not only the actors, but also their teams. One recent example is Amber Heard, who was arrested for manslaughter after her mugshot went viral. So when did this alleged manslaughter happen? Keep watching to find out. An alleged mugshot of the actress from her adolescence is going viral. Furthermore, many claims that it results from a car accident in which she was involved and was arrested. However, the claims have been proven false because there's no record linking her to the crime. Furthermore, despite reports that Amber Heard's friend died in a car accident, she was not involved. In addition, the real reason she dropped out of school was to pursue a modeling career in New York. Then she went to Los Angeles to study acting. Despite what many users claim, it was not because of her arrest. So the rumor is false. She was not in prison for vehicular manslaughter, despite her friend's death being the catalyst for her conversion to atheism. The viral mugshot that netizens claim is from the manslaughter case was taken in 2003. That's when the Aquaman actress was arrested for driving while her license was suspended. She was also arrested once for a disagreement with her ex-girlfriend, Tasia Van Rie. It happened in 2009, but Van Rie later claimed that the event was overblown. She was released after no charges were filed against her. Is Amber Heard guilty of vehicular manslaughter? Her defamation trial with ex-husband Johnny Depp began on April 11th in Fairfax County, Virginia. An earlier mugshot of the Aquaman star, on the other hand, went viral on social media. According to the legal record, the arrest occurred on September 12, 2003 in Austin, Texas. The mugshot elicited an outpouring of emotions in response to the arrest details. Some even mocked Heard while others defended her, citing a variety of strange accusations. She's from Texas, right? Asked one Twitter user. A mugshot of a teen from a crime. Are you certain she isn't involved in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Another person tweeted, I'm still shocked by Amber Heard's juvenile record of misdemeanors and underage mugshot, from a mischievous adolescent to a mischievous lady. Amber Heard's arrest as a minor was also discussed on Reddit. Was Amber Heard charged with vehicular manslaughter as a teenager? The forum inquires. Many believe the blonde actress was detained as a result of a car accident. According to a Yahoo piece on Heard's early years, she lost her best friend in a terrible car accident when they were just 16 years old. According to the report, Heard dropped out of high school School right away and began a modeling career in New York. She then moved to Los Angeles and started performing. Some connected the two events by mentioning the Rum Diaries actress's decision to drop out of high school. Others pointed out that her arrest in 2003 was for driving with a suspended license and that there's no evidence that the case was related to the death of her best friend in the car accident. Fans of Heard immediately defended her, claiming she was caught driving without a license and that there's no evidence linking the entire incident to the murder of her best friend. They even believe it's just more defamation, claiming that Depp's fans are spreading the rumor. Amber Heard's arrest in 2003, however, was not her first. Heard was arrested six years later in 2009 on domestic assault charges brought by her former lover, Tasia Van Rie. The former couple got into a fight in a Seattle airport, and Heard was accused of grabbing Rie and punching her arm before being arrested and charged with fourth-degree domestic abuse. Heard denied the allegations of physical assault in court in 2016 while her ex-girlfriend claimed the incident was misinterpreted. Moreover, there now comes her behavior for perjury. Authorities are reinvestigating the incident after learning new details about the fight during the 2020 UK libel trial. Her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, sued the son for calling him a wife-beater. For eight years, Kevin Murphy, Depp's estate manager, previously testified in London courts that Heard had ordered Depp to lie on oath after she flew the pets into Queensland on a private jet without declaring them. Investigators allegedly interviewed Murphy and obtained emails allegedly affecting Heard. I also explained to Ms. Heard several times that attempting to bring the dogs into Australia without completing the mandatory process was illegal and could result in very harsh penalties including the dogs being euthanized, Murphy said during the 2020 trial. When I expressed my dissatisfaction with this, Ms. Heard replied, well, I want your help on this. I don't want you to have a problem at work. He claimed it quickly became clear that Ms. Heard was threatening my job security unless I cooperated in providing a declaration that supported her false account for the Australian proceedings. 
The dogs were supposed to be declared to local customs and quarantined for 10 days. However, they were discovered when a groomer posted photos of the two dogs on their Facebook page. Heard was ordered to return the dogs to their owners or face having them seized and euthanized. Heard pleaded guilty to forgery of an immigration document. As a result, she received a $10,000 fine in Australian dollars. Her attorney told the court at the time that she believed Depp's staff completed the paperwork, but that they were sleep deprived and marked the wrong box on the custom forms. What do you think of all these allegations against Amber Heard? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, like and subscribe so that you never miss out on our latest uploads.